Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty. How are you guys tonight? Let me just pop out my chat here. Hi, Danny. Hi, Ella. Oh, I'm sorry about you. I didn't know your show didn't record the other day. Bummer. That's terrible. Hi, very nice. Hi, Mickey. Who else is here? Hi, Aunt Maggie. Hi, CB. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> Hi, Samo. We're having May. Oh, great weather. <laughs> Hi, Cindy Lou. Mitz. Mitzi. Um, Amanda. You have a new name. Who are you, MGS? <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn G is now MGS. <laughs> I'll have to get used to that, Marilyn. Marilyn. <laughs> ah. So tonight we're just going to do something pretty easy. Well, I think it's easy, but you guys will probably be like, I can't do that. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Hi, Heather. How are you? Is it cold? Hi, Kia. I mailed your thing out, so hopefully you should get it next week sometime. We'll see. I know Teresa's getting hers tomorrow, so they say. <laughs> I mailed all that out already. Jean Marie should be getting hers. So, um, you know, my my um, niece is having a baby. And so I made the Humpty Dumpty. And, you know, that's a pirate theme. So that's not going to go with that. But I think it's October afternoon. Or somebody came out with some pirate paper. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> so I'll have that next week. So next week we'll start the mini. The baby mini with the pirate. Hi, Linda. So, yeah, I'm thinking of, um, I have a, a vellum that I found in my stash. Let me show you. Um, where is it? So I'm thinking about, if you remember when I did the stand-up mini album for Chelsea, my, um, for Gabby's girlfriend's boyfriend, and we just, oops, we did a stand-up uh, mini album. I'm thinking about doing that with this. So I found um, I found this, uh, this it's a um, acetate with a pirate ship. So I'm thinking about cutting out the pirate ship and standing it up like that, and then making a little box and then sticking the album inside that. Hi, Linda. So I think that's what we're going to fool around with next week. Maybe we might start the box tonight if we finish early. And I did find um, a pirate map. So. So I'll be all set for the baby theme. It's got some cute paper. It's got some um, dolphins and a mermaid. So I think it has an octopus too. So I'll be doing some of that. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so I have some happy mail to show first. So let me do that. Where is Bunny here? I don't know if Bunny's not here yet. Um... So she had, and you know, you know, my other little pad from her fell in the water. And so she made me this new one. The little holds a little notebook pad. Can you see it's kind of pink? I love the bow. It's so cute. And hi, CB. And then she sent me some goodies. She sent me some twine. And look at that lace. It's pretty, isn't it? The lace. I love the lace. Hi, Mugana. And then she sent me some quotes. Some quotes. Some quotes. So this will be cute for um, the pocket letters. Is it love and friendship? And then donuts. You must have heard me when I said I wish I had some donuts because I wanted to put them with the coffee cup. <laughs> so, sock monkey. Yes, we're going to be doing. I'm going to teach you guys how to do sock monkey tonight. And then she sent me this. And oh, look at this girlfriend stamp. I'll have to do some cards next week, maybe, or the week after. I don't have any of these girls. Isn't that cute? I love those. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> And then she sent me a stencil. So thank you, Bunny. That was really nice. That was a really nice, happy mail. So, and then tonight, you know, we're going to give away my canvas that I did um, for National Scrapbook Day. So this is the blue one here. So I'm going to give this away tonight. So remind me around 9 o'clock. We'll stop wherever we are, and then I'll do the drawing. So if you haven't gone over to my blog to leave a comment, make sure you do that. It says, I've written down the names, and then I'll um, 
I'll do that. It's a funny stamp. <laughs> so the um, the ballerina is not attached. So if you wanted just to um, get it for like a Mother's Day present or something like that, <laughs> thank you, Sue. Um, and then I made it so that you could stick, you can um, open this up and stick a four by six photo if you want, or you can just leave it small like that. So at nine o'clock we'll um, we'll give, and then you can just use this as an ornament or whatever you want. If you you know if you're giving it to somebody else who doesn't really have a ballerina, so nine o'clock will stop. To make sure to go over my blog, leave a comment there. What else? Oh, and for those of you who know Dee Dee, she's Inkwell on. Um, oh, what am I dropping? What is falling? She has been teaching us how to draw a portrait of this little girl Amelia um, in Australia. So, um, and it's all recorded. Hi, Pam. So if you'd like to go and give it a shot, um, she um, printed out, she drew the picture of Amelia and printed, and you can print it out. So you have just a basic sketch and then she teaches you how to color it in. So I didn't do her shirt, but I did finish her. So I'll show you how I did. I really love her eyes. Um, let me get it out here. I'm sure poor little Amelia probably thinks she's a big star too now. So here's mine of Amelia. And the eyes came out great. I love the eyes. I love how she taught us how to do the eyelashes. Can you see the eyelashes there? Only thing is I don't I don't like her skin too much. Like I don't know. I don't feel like I have it like fully covered or something. Who was watching that up this week? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, she came out pretty cute, and I put a little earring in her ear. I still have to finish the shirt. I didn't do that. But, um, yeah, so she taught us how to do that. Wasn't that neat? That was really nice to her, yeah. I love her eyes. I mean, her eyes look like they're just, like, peering right at you. <laughs> yeah. So, and she has little freckles, but you can't see. I didn't really make them too dark, so I probably should do that. But but I like it. For my first one, I think I think it came out pretty good. She was really good teaching. Who's the teacher? She's um, Dee Dee in, uh, Willingham, and she's on Monday and Wednesday. Sometimes she pops in on a Thursday or Tuesday, and she's at 9 o'clock. The channel, she's, uh, I wonder if I need, oh, there's Janet. Janet, can you post, please, Dee Dee's, um, her channel? I have, oh, I have the links open. She's Inkwell. Yes, Inkwell. Thank you, Janny. Inkwell on Ustream. So, and you can go over there. It's all recorded. So, you know, you can take your time and try to do it. Thank you. Thank you, Kia. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I love their eyes. I'm just not too happy with her skin. I don't think I had the right color pencil. She did more of a peach. But, um, but yeah. So, if you're interested in just trying it out. And you could do, if you don't have colored pencils, you know, you could do it with, um, thank you, Janny. Yep, there it is. It's ustreamtv.channel slash inkwell yeah and she's going to start another one i think next week is that right janet i think uh, we're going to do um darcy from the uk if you guys know her she has the red hair so that should be fun <laughs> so so something if you want to give your hand at that you know you can use whatever you have um on hand but it, it was fun to try so and she's really good at teaching she says she's not a teacher but she teaches really well <laughs> Yes, Darcy UK. Thank you, Pam. Yep, that's who we're going to be doing. All right, so so tonight I'm going to show you how to do um, the sock monkey. First, we're going to do it out of cardstock. Yes, we're going to do Darcy. Me too, Janet. I can't wait. It should be fun with the red hair. Oh, it should be fun. <laughs> Hi, Liz. <laughs> so, yeah, so make sure to check her out. It's all recorded. And it's on, if you can, I have a hard time. Um, seeing the streams on Ustream, so she's also on YouTube, so if you can't get it, um, thank you, thank you, Liz, uh, if you can't watch it on uh, Ustream, you can watch it um, on YouTube. Hi, Sandy, hi, Auntie Chick. <laughs> All right, so, um, so let me see, she, let me just double check, and I'll show you real quick, because she usually watches Survivor, so she's not here, so this, for teaching the class, I made her a little pocket, um, pocket letter. So this is a little sock monkey I made, and then I wanted to make it pretty flat because it's been killing me, the postage for these things. <laughs> and then I have some sock monkey tape. So I know you do, Janet. <laughs> and then I, the back I just did plain. I might add a few things in the back, but I really wanted to keep it flat. 
so that I can like send it. Even still, it's kind of thick. But um, yeah, she's watching. Survive. She's watching with you. Don't tell her. <laughs> so I'm gonna put. I have to just write my letter, and then I'm gonna put this in the mail to her tomorrow as a thank you for teaching us the class. So um, that's for Dee Dee. So and then I'll just show you some of the things that I have. I have um, I got some tape when I was at the expo. So there's some washi tape, and then I have some um, ribbon I got. And then aren't these cute? These are um little brads that I oops that I got can you see those those little sock monkey brads <laughs> I got it at the expo when I went to the expo um, but I also have two other pockets so I have to ask I don't know if I got the address from everywhere from else but Janet you need to send me your address <laughs> just a hint you need to send me your address and then look how cute this is with the little I found that today isn't it cute <laughs> So, and then this is a little clay monkey here, sock monkey. I have a few more of these, and I have to look for them because when I was on um, a cruise, we did a scrapbooking cruise, and I taught um, a mini album with sock monkeys, and I had these made. And I know I have like three or four of them left, so I have to look for those. So tonight I'm going to show you how to do it out of cardstock first, and then I'll do it out of the mulberry paper because I need two more monkeys. So they're not hard at all. <laughs> okay, Jen, make sure you do. Um, so we need a pencil. So now you can make these any size. I'm making mine kind of small because I need it to fit in the um, pocket. So um, maybe this one I'll do big just so that you guys can see it. So just take anything that you have round. So I'm just going to just... So you guys should be able to do this. I want I want to see them. So let me do it in a marker so that you can see it because you can't really see the pencil. You have to get on to play and go to her house. <laughs> well, you won't have to. Um, I'm looking for my marker. Here it is. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to take the bottle, whatever bottle you have. Like I said, whatever size. I'm just doing it kind of big so you guys could see. When I do my little mulberry one, I'm going to do it little. So you're doing just kind of a half a circle. And I just go kind of straight and then just round it out. So it just looks something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. And then for the mouth, the mouth is just an oval. You see that? Just a big oval like that. So I just take my, take this paper here and just judge the outside of your line there. Hi, Miss Linda. <laughs> I see you. I see you there. <laughs> and so it, from here to here, so I'm just going to make an oval. So And then we can, you know, you can fix it. So see, it's just an oval. I'm going to outline it so you guys could see it. I probably should bring you in a little bit closer. So see, just an oval like that, kind of a long oval. And that's going to be going over his nose like this. I was trying to look for my deco scissors, and I really couldn't find it. So just use any decorative edge scissors that you have. <laughs> and so we're going to just cut this out. And I'm going to cut out of that black line. So, just going to look like that. And then we're going to do the same with the oval. Oh my gosh, I've had so many people on Facebook want, wanting me to make these for them. So that's why I was like, oh, I'm going to teach you guys how to make them. <laughs> I don't think I can make like 30 of them. So then we had that. So see, so you have this and this. And we're going to put a little um, foam tape on here just so that it pops up a little. Hi, Aunt Maggie. <laughs> And then we're good, and you can use some chalk, or if you have ink, and we'll just do ink because maybe some of you don't have chalk. And so I'm going just around with vintage photo. And 
and around his nose too, his snout. So then I'm just going to put some foam tape at the bottom. <laughs> you would pay for it. <laughs> well, email me. I'll have to see how many people want it, and then I'll have to, I'll have to see. So there you go. So that's kind of your sock monkey like that. So now for the ears, the ears are pretty easy. All you're going to do is take your glue stick and... Uh, just draw another circle, like more than a circle. And then again, you're just going to come around like this. Make two of those. So you can see. So you're just making two kind of like circles, like that. And if you don't have these kind of scissors, you could, you know, cut it out with just regular scissors. It just makes it look like he's a little furry when you have some type of decorative scissors. And then you're going to ink that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut a slit at the bottom, about a quarter of an inch, like this. And then I, add, you're just going to, let me bring you in a little bit closer so you guys can see better. There we go. So what I want to do is take some glue, put this here right at the bottom. So you have that. Then where that slit is, you're going to make like a little pleat. You're just going to put one over the other. And you want to just bend his ear. So you're making like a little pleat. Do you see it there? Just like that. You're going, Fran. Bye. Thanks for coming. Got to run. Okay. Um, so then once you have the little pleat like that, you're going to put the ears not at the top because it would look like a bear. You want to put it on the side. Right on the side of his ears. I mean his head. <laughs> and it probably could have gotten a little bit bigger with these ears. So you, know, you can play around with it. So again, you're just going to put one on top of the other. Make a little pleat like that. So you can see it. Yes, you can see it good. Okay. And then... On the side of his head. So you see that goes one on one side, one on the other, just like that. Not on the top, otherwise he'll look more like a bear. <laughs> and then once we did that, we need his little hat. So I'm just going to cut just a little. Um, you can do like the shape of his. You can come in here and just guess what this is. I just draw like a. Just follow the shape of his head like that can you see it and then you're just going to make it you know like a quarter of an inch thick and this one I'm just going to cut out of regular scissors because it's just his hat we don't need that to be fluffy and then I'm going to ink that must be a big lag there it is I know um Joycey had a big lag today, too. So that's for his hat there. So you see how that goes on the top like that? And then we're going to make just another. We want to make his hat kind of like, um, you see how the sock monkey has? He has kind of like a cap. So that's what you want to do. You want to make a little cap. So again, I'm just going to take my head shape here. And I'm just going to draw like a cap on here. So it's going to look like this. People are answering before I say anything. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, was there tornadoes? Where is that at, Janet? 
in Oklahoma. I forget where I saw I saw them tweeting about it before. So here I'll do this in um, so say you're just making just like another little circle that goes on top and this will be the cap and we want to just cut that out. And I want to make it um, a little bit darker than what I have there. I want to have darker paper. So I'm just going to use my vintage photo and just color the whole thing. Down in Oklahoma City, Norman. Oh my gosh, he went to the University of Oklahoma in Norman. It's so flat there. It's scary, those tornadoes. I went there when I was... Um, studying to be an air traffic controller. That's where they, that's where the school was for there. Okay, so now we have his cap. And I'm going to just, just going to cut it just like that. So I'll put this down. You know, his hubby said something about it in, in Australia. You guys saw that? Ugh. Bridge Creek. I don't know how far is that from um, North Norman City. Is that far? That's where I learned my two dancing, two step dancing. <laughs> so I want to put this down just a little bit more. I want to just trim this just a little. So I'm going to trim it to the cap that I have here. That area gets hit a lot. Oh, it's terrible. They're scary. So you just want to get his cap kind of just like where his ears are, just like that. And then we need, um, I don't have a little star punch. So I'm just going to um, make like a little circle. You could do a little circle, or if you had a flower, or whatever you want to use for the top. I'm just going to use a little circle. There you go. Ugh, is there a lot of, ugh, a lot of injuries? Ugh, I don't know. All right, and then for his mouth, his mouth is just a big, like, slice of watermelon, kind of. So all you're going to do is, and you have to just judge it, kind of thinking of it like, um, like a half a moon, like that. So then you're going to put it on there and then just decide if you want it bigger, smaller. And then I kind of fold it, I fold it in half just so that I could get it about both the same sides like this. So it goes just like that. <laughs> it's, it's just ovals and circles. So you guys, sh you should be able to do it. <laughs> so just like that. And then we need just two little dashes for his nose here. And I was looking for my little quarter punch for his eyes, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to draw two big circles. And leave a little hole and then just color. Let me use my marker. I'm just going to color it in. Hi, Dawn. How are you? We missed you. So you're just going to color it in just like that. Oops, I dropped this little. I'll have to put that on there again. So there he is. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's very cute. I can make them so fast. <laughs> All right, so we need to put that back on there. Oh, you know why? I think it's because of the ink. I'm going to have to wait till that dries. Let's see. There we go. 
And then for his body, you're just going to, um, I just make like a triangle. So, so you're going to take this. Just think of it as a, like that, like a little triangle. And then this is where he gets his personality, the way you tilt his head. So you could tilt it this way, you could do it straight. Let's do it like that. <laughs> and then I usually have him holding something. So you could see on this one, he's just holding a little envelope, a wooden envelope. So for the arms, they're just long sticks like. So you can make them as long as you want. They're, he's pretty easy to make, which is nice. <laughs> <coughs> So I usually put one arm in the front and one arm in the back. And then I'll just make a little slit here to kind of like bend it. Maybe I'll put this one in the back too. <laughs> what happened? She got the Jeopardy final, she's saying. And then the bottom, you know, he just has um, the beige part of him. So, like his hands. So, you just want to cut two little things to cover his hands. So, one here. And one here. So there he is, our cute little sock monkey. Hey, cute. <laughs> Hi, bunny. I showed everyone your little goodies. Thank you very much again. So now we're going to do it out of mulberry paper. But that's a quick and easy way to do it out of cardstock. And so then what I might do is when I wrap... When I wrap this one around, maybe what I'll do is I'll put him on the outside of it so he can get tucked in just like that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So now my little one I'm going to do out of um, mulberry paper. So I have this. I have my red. And I need a piece of brown. <laughs> He's cute. Thanks. It does come out cute. And I'm just going to tear a piece off here. So it's going to be the same thing now. Only when I do it out of mulberry paper, let me see if I could show you. I do more of a shape like this. I still do the oval. Let me see if I have white paper big enough. Oh, where's Bunny's little, her little pad? Bunny's pad. <laughs> So I do the same thing. So I do kind of an oval like that, but then I do the bottom. I kind of attach it so it looks like that, kind of like a top hat kind of. <laughs> so that's how I make his face. And then what I use is this is just like a pencil. And so I just freehand it. So, and I have to, I want him little because I want him to fit on this pocket. So, you can see, it looks just like that. Kind of like a snow globe, almost like. <laughs> and then we need a water pen. And then I'm just going to go over where I just did that with the embossing tool. You just have to go over it like two or three times. This is pretty thick. So it um, sometimes it's hard to and as long as it's wet, it tears pretty easy. He's gonna be little, this guy. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take 
put my beige one on top of here and see how I want to make his muzzle part. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. He is going to be kind of little. <laughs> and then I don't use like um, foam tape for that. I just um, put some other. Hi, Mitzi. I just put some other pieces of mulberry paper and I fold them in half, like, and just kind of thicken them up to go underneath here. So you can see how little he is. <laughs> And then I'm going to do the same thing with the ears, like we did. So what I'm going to do is make the little ears like that. And then just cut it right in there so that it can fold on top of each other. I don't need this big piece. <clears throat> so I'm going to make his ears. So they look like that. Kind of like an M, I guess you're making like this here. And then I'm going to just slice it right here so that I can fold it over. I might even have to make these a little bit bigger. <laughs> I can't say that very nice <laughs> yeah it does <laughs> so I'm going to fold that over so it makes like a little pleat in his ear M, yes M for Maryland oh these ears will be okay because he is tiny I might put another layer in the back if you really want to get these dimensions, you could layer them like two and three times. Like I could put two heads together um, and it would be a lot thicker. Maybe that's what I'll do in the other one so you could see. So this one goes here like this. So see, there's this little head. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. They really don't take too long to make, so. And now we have to do his mouth. So I just want a little bit of a mouth. Two heads are better than one. That's true. I'll, I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to put two of them together so you could see that the different dimensions. A lot of people, when they used to make their bears, they would put layer them two and three on top of each other. And that's how they used to get them nice and thick and fluffy. So there he is. I like to get a little point on the edge here. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then I'll make his eyes. I usually do this out of cardstock, but I can't find my um, my punch. Oh, I forgot to add his little. Usually, I do like little laugh lines in here. <laughs> so you can see here. See how it makes a difference. Those little smiley lines I call them for his eyes you can see that and then we just have to put his hat so he needs a little bit of a hat
I watched Jana before when she was on. What was she making? Um, more pocket pocket letter stuff? I didn't get to see what she was doing. I saw when she did the gold foil. Or the gold stamping. All right. So we have his little start of his cap. Brother stole all your doll clothes. <laughs> Mitzi, why? I didn't have any brothers, so thank goodness I didn't have that. I was the oldest, though. <laughs> and we need to make his little, the little cap. So I'm also going to color this. Where is my? <clears throat> Dress up their cat in doll clothes? No. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. Stick this hat on. And then stick that back on. So see how cute he looks? <laughs> and then we just need a little red dot. Might be too big. And then again, I'm just going to do like a little triangle for his body. So, see, it looks just kind of like a triangle. Mm -hmm. They're cute. I always like to tilt their heads. Just gives them a little bit more personality. <laughs> so let me see. I have a pocket litter. Let's see. Here. Oops, this one keeps coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'll just stick them on this one here. So he's going to go on there like that, and I want to, let's just put a little piece of tape. I need a little piece of, I put a little card stock, so if they want to take it off and use them somewhere else, they can. And then again, I just make his arms. So I'll just make long arms like this. Pen. There it is. So we had nice weather this week. We're going to have a nice weather all week till Saturday. Like in the 80s. It was really nice and hot here today. So this arm's going to go there. So see, they go pretty quick. So I'm going to put this one behind here and this one here. And then he'll hold one of these letters. I'll have to color this. It'll go like that. And we just need to do the little beige part. Like that. 
Oops. So that'll go on there. And then he'll go on there like that. Cause see, can he come out cute? <laughs> as long as they're a little big, I probably should make them just a little bit smaller. But cute. All right. So you have about 15 minutes. Let me see how many people went over. Did you go to my blog? Uh, let me see. So I can write people down. Yeah. So I'll give you about five more minutes. So for those of you who did not get a chance to do it, um, let me write it down. And then we'll pick we'll pick the winner. Let me make sure I have everybody here. Um, Ella. Where's my pen? Ella. Linda B. Well, I'm not looking at the chat right yet. Linda. B. Amanda. Let me just double check anybody else. And I'll send Margaret. Okay. Oh, my chat moved out. Hold on. <laughs> Anytime I leave my screen, my chat. Thank you, Dawn. So I'll give you like five more minutes. Go over there if you haven't gone over there, and then we'll pull the name. Oops. I put this one in there. Darcy, are you going to Baltimore? I know Jonna said she wasn't going to go, but she said maybe you might go. For any of you who don't know, they're having a uh, mixed media, like crop weekend, um, July 8th to, I think it's the 11th. And it's by um, Paula, the journal artista, and Patty, um, Inky Obsession. So you have until, I think, May 8th, I think, is the deadline to put your money in if you want to. Um, like, they need a head count, an actual head count. So if you guys are interested, it's in um, Baltimore, near Baltimore, Maryland, near Queens, Inc. And they're going to have two days of classes, which includes lunch. And then um, Paul will teach one day, Patty will teach another day, and then there's... Your room, I think Saturday's left for all day shopping, wherever you want to go. You're not sure yet? Okay. And then, um, I think if you get a double, it's like 700. Is that right, Janet? And then if you want a single room, it's like 900. But that includes everything. That includes all your food, the classes, like the crop room. So... Okay, Pam, I didn't know who that was, Parakeet, so I was like, I wonder who that is. All right, that's you, Pam. I have you in here. Don't worry. <laughs> so it should be a fun weekend, so if you guys are interested, if you can get there. Um, I think they have, like, I want to say 18 or 20 people now, so, so it should be fun. Let's see over. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go look one more time on my blog, and then we're going to pull the names. So, let me see who else I have here. Yeah, yeah I have you, Vicki, Tamika, let me see, Tammy. Oops, let me get my pen. Archie Chick. Archie Chick. Yep, I have Vicky in there, and I have Chibiko. Tammy, I mean. <laughs> K, K, L. All right. 
So I'm going to pull the names. And hold on, let me get my chat back. Get in my chat here. Hold on. There we go. All the Canadians, are, I know Gina is, she already bought her ticket. She's going down for sure. And then there's Paula and Patty. So, oh, too bad. <laughs> we hope, I hope you go, Darcy. You forgot your Google name? I'll put you in there, Teresa. Okay, so, and what I'm going to do is I'll pick three, so whoever, um, the first person will get the canvas, so that's this, you'll get this, and then I'll pull two winners to get, and I'll make you two sock monkeys, and I'll send you, um, sock monkeys, how's that? <laughs> You're going, Mickey, me too, I'm going, okay, Mitzi, you're back. So we're pulling names for the canvas. So the first one's going to be for this, for the canvas. And then I'm going to pull two other names, and I'll send you a sock monkey. So let me cover my glue. Oh, you got booted. Oh, no. All right. So good luck. Let's see who it's going to be. All right. For the canvas, it is... Vicky, Vicky, Vicky L, right? <laughs> How's it go? Will I have a pattern for the sock monkey? Yes, I'll put a pattern on my blog for the sock monkey, but it won't be till maybe Monday. <laughs> so, Vicky, Vicky, are you here? So make sure you send me your e your um, address. So that's for the canvas, Vicky. <laughs> I don't see her. Where is she? <laughs> so you can e email me at scraps to beauty at AOL. Did she get booted? Where is she? <laughs> There she is. So don't forget to email me, scraps to beauty at AOL. You're there. Okay, good. Yeah, so you have the canvas. Congrats. All right, so I'm going to pull two more names, and that'll be for a sock monkey. One sock monkey each. So two more names. <laughs> so thank you, Dawn. All right, so for a sock monkey, it is Artsy Chick. Artsy Chick is for Sock Monkey. Oops. <laughs> Darn it, I can't write. Monkey. Artsy Chick. Oh, okay. It must be a big, long line. It must be pretty long. So, uh, Artsy Chick, you'll get one of the Sock Monkeys. Drum roll. <laughs> yes, drum roll. Artsy Chick. Sock monkey. So that she's the first one. And then I have one more for sock monkey. Lucky you. Yep. You've, you're welcome. You're welcome, Sandy. So and one more. Pick one more for the sock monkey. It's a short lag, but not bad. Well, it's good. Okay. So the last person is Margaret Halderson. <laughs> Margaret, is she here? <laughs> she gets the other sock monkey. That's Aunt Maggie, right? You forgot to sign up. Oh, Miss Oh, Miss Linda. <laughs> okay. So thanks everyone for participating. That was fun. So I don't know, is, is um is she here, Margaret? Aunt Maggie? And she's pretty lucky. She always wins too. <laughs> Yep, that's you. Yep, yep. So I'll make a sock monkey for each of you. So, but it won't go out probably till like Monday or Tuesday. But you're down in my book. <laughs>
So, all right. So, yeah, was any questions? So, should I make one more? I'll make one more, and then it's per ended pretty early. I didn't think we'd end this early. Um, maybe, yes, make one more. Maybe I'll start the bottom of my mini album for next week, but we'll make one more. How's that? And this one I'll do double so you can see what I mean, the difference. And whoever, I'll actually do this, and one of you guys will get this, so it'll save me from making one anyway. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make two. Actually, what I think I'll make all four of them. Two. Because it doesn't take that long. So I'll put um, a pattern on my blog. Um, I'll say, I'll do it over the weekend, so I'll say it'll be on Monday. But check Facebook. I'll post it on Facebook when I'll have it on there. Um, and you could just download it. It's pretty easy. But I know you'd rather have the pattern. <laughs> you'd rather have the pattern. And then you could do it out of cardstock. Or if you have some mulberry paper, you could do it out of that. You could do it out of felt. Felt would look nice for a sock monkey. Well, if I finish these tonight, then I can mail them to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow or Friday. All right. So I'm just going to go over it one more time because this is pretty thick. And then does anybody know, is Happy Diane on tonight? Or Paula? Do you know who's coming on next? I don't know if it's Happy Diane or Paula after me. Hi, Jean. How are you? Jean, do you know if Happy Diane's coming on tonight? Or is it Paula? Jean will be going to the retreat. Jean and CB. CB's here too. She's going. I don't know who else is going. Vicky's going. I'm going. My girlfriend June's going with me. I think Artie Dar's going. I don't know who else from the chat's here going. Paula is not. Thank you, Sherry. So is do you know of Happy Diane? Oh, Happy Diane's gonna stream. Okay, so she's gonna stream after me. Oh good, because I haven't seen her in a while. Paula tweeted, oh, okay, she's not going to get home in time. Okay, good. So then Happy Diane will go on. So you guys can run over there. Okay, so here we go. So now I'm just going to layer these on top of each other. <clears throat> Let's see if I have my, my brush. So I'm going to put one on top like this. And another one on top here like this. So you can see now it just makes it a lot thicker. Oh, you are welcome, Mickey. Thanks. So now you guys know I'll be on Sunday, too. So now I've got some new stamps. I did my first jelly plating on Sunday. So I got some new stamps from um, Robin. I don't have them up here. I'll have to show them to you. I'll show them to you on um, Sunday. Um, so now we have to make the ears. They're really nice, though. I saw them from um, Tracy Batista's um, blog. She uses, um, I guess, this girl's um, stamps a lot. So I'm going to try to use that. What's Anybody have Happy Diane's uh, Ustream? I think it's Happy Diane. What time on Sunday? I'm, I'm on at 7.30 Eastern time. Half hour earlier than this time. We just play around. I just play around. Kind of, it's kind of my like mixed media because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but I want to try to draw, <clears throat> maybe draw some faces. Is Cassie here? Kathy here? <laughs> oh my gosh, she did an awesome Jenny, Johnny Depp, and it's like, oof, I don't know if I can do another face. <laughs> there she is. Thank you, thank you, Jenny. She's you stream. Um, Happy Diane. Yes. So she'll be on after me. <laughs> Yes, and then Paula is the journal artista, and she'll be on Saturday night. She usually comes on Saturday night. 
All right. So again, I'm going to cut these at the bottom for the ears. So don't forget to slice the little part so you could, you know, pleat them at the bottom. Yes, and you see um, Jean, she's on Musical Jean. She's on Mondays at 4 o'clock, if you guys ever catch her on Mondays. And then Dee Dee didn't go on today, so do you guys know she'll be on tomorrow? Sometimes when she doesn't stream on Wednesdays, she streams on, on, um, on Thursdays. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, so you see music scraps in the chat. That's Jean, and she's on Mondays. Although she's been putting her legs up, um, so she wasn't. I don't. She wasn't on this Monday, but I think she's doing better now. Right, Jean? Feeling better now? And then, let's see. Oh, is Barb here? Barb's not here. I should show you guys real quick since Barb is in here. Barb, you know Barb, she's creating faces. And I've had all this um, motorcycle stuff. And I was like, well, what am I going to do with all this motorcycle stuff? So I'll have to show it to you. I'm not finished with it, though. All right, so there we have. We have the two little monkeys' faces. But let me show you real quick what I have for Barb since she's not here. I still have to do um, the sponsors on the front of this. So I have this for the sponsors. You feeling better? Good, Jean. Yes, Mondays for Eastern. Oh, and some Saturdays? I didn't know you were on Saturdays. We'll be streaming this Saturday at 2.30. So I still have to do the sponsors for this page. But then in the back, it's all uh, motorcycles. So this is vellum paper, and it's got motorcycles on it. So I don't know if you can see it. Let me do it like this. So there you can see the motorcycles. And then it puts all different motorcycle things inside here. Some things. Maybe she can do a little scrapbook for herself. And then I have that. Motorcycles. Okay, don't worry, Dawn. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you came. We missed you. Glad you're doing all right. Oh, my baby's sick with the flu. All right, have a good night. Bye, Dawn. And then this one with the motorcycles. And she used to ride motorcycles, so it was like, she's got to be the perfect person to get this. <laughs> so I have to still do her sponsors. I have to get a good picture of them. I only took them, like, off the screen, so um, they're not really that good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's um, I've had it, like, forever, because when I used to do, um, when I used to sell bears on eBay, I used to um, put the bears on a motorcycle, and so that's why I have so much motorcycle stuff. But now it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to make the muzzles real quick. Which papers? The motorcycle papers or the sock monkey papers? I've had the motorcycle paper like forever from like 2004. They used to be, um, your brother has a bike. I have some leftover stuff, Miki. Email me and I will send you whatever I have left over. Go back, Barb's Twitter feed. She has some great pictures you can download. Oh, okay, I will. Thank you, Jean. I'll go back and look at them then. Barb has two Siamese cats and she calls them her sponsors. So. I have, um, let's see who else. I'll, I'll show you somebody else. If I, let me see if she's in the chat, and then I'll show you real quick. Uh, let's see. No, she's not here either. Okay. Um, I have this. I'm hoping, where is it? I'm hoping she picks out her cat soon. She's supposed to be getting a cat. So if you guys know who it is in the chat, don't say who it is. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll guess who this is for. So I did this. I still have to finish it. So it's all maps, and I'm going to put one sock monkey because she likes a sock monkey, too. Um, but then in the back, she's supposed to be getting a cat, so I uh, made her a cat. 
So I'm hoping she gets kind of a beige cat, but who knows? She might pick out a black or a gray one. So yeah, my email is just scraps to beauty at AOL. So I'm going to send that to her. I still have to do my letter and I just have to add a few things to the front, but um, yeah, but hopefully she gets her kitty cat soon. So I can put his name or her name down and the cute little mouse that's holding a mouse. <laughs> You know who that's for. That's right, G. That's who it's for. But I want her to pick her cat out. I can't send it until she gets her cat. <laughs> I was going to make her a sock monkey, but she's really more um, a cat and map person and owls <laughs> and squirrels. <laughs> All right, so let's finish this up. <laughs> you think so? I hope she likes it, yeah. So I've been doing a few here and there. Um, I want to do a, um, a coffee one. Um, for those of you who know, um, I think her name, Andrea, you know, the one who sent me the um, pocket letter from Germany. She has some new stamps coming out, and they're all about coffee. So I want to um, make a coffee one. Okay, so there we are. We have our cute little monkey's face. You going to like that one? I hope so. She has to get her cat, though. I'll just probably send it to her anyway. And then if it's a different color, well, well. Are you in Florida now? And if you are, don't tell me because I'm going to be really jello if you are. <laughs> She's sending me all these pictures from Florida and she knows I want to go to Florida. <laughs> Andrea, yes. Do you know Andrea Liz? She has some new coffee cup stamps for pocket letters. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Yes, you're in Florida. Don't tell me. My ears, my eyes are closed. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> you made it there safe. That's good. That's good. And I'm going to make the mouth. And how is your dog doing with all the move? Beautiful weather. We have beautiful weather here too, you know. <laughs> it's Lily, right? How did Lily um, make out with the move? You're totally exhausted, I bet. That's a lot. Moving, yeah. <laughs> moving is hard, that's for sure. I don't even want to think about it, but I want to go. <laughs> I want to go. So you asked her a question and then said, I know. I said, don't answer me because I knew what she was going to say. She was there already. <laughs> On Facebook, I missed it. What was it? Oh, she travels well? That's good. My two dogs can't stand the car. I don't know what I'm going to do when I have to move with those two. They hate the car. She has a cute little Maltese. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. She's nice and little. And cute. Okay. So we have our two faces on there. Now we just have to put our hats. You need to run, okay, CB? Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks, you guys. Oh my gosh, anybody who came in late, I said hello to. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. You'll catch everyone later. Okay, bye, CB. It's a long ride. I know it's a long ride. It's true, but ugh. I want to be there right now. <laughs> All right. 
So let's put our little necks on. Do you have your scrap room all set up, Lori? That would be the fun part, setting up your new scrap room. That's what I can't wait for. My husband talked about getting me like one of those little trailers <laughs> so I can move it along. I don't like that for a neck. Have you ever made dogs? Yes, I have made dogs out of mulberry paper. Every kind of dog you could think of. I've made German Shepherds, Dotsons, um, Maltese. I've made, um, somebody had a river rat and they asked me to do a river rat. So I made some river rats. <laughs> trying to also think. I've done skunks. What else? Um, no way. What? I, when I used to do my Maltese, I used to do, because I wanted it real fluffy. Because, you know, my first Maltese, she had long, long hair. So I, um, oh, not even close. She's not close to doing her scrap room. But I did it with feathers. If I find it, I'll have to look. I'll have to show you guys one that I've done with feathers. Um, and I like doing the some of the dogs, the puppy dogs. I did a Dotson with feathers um, for the long Dotson with long hair. I'm trying to think, I did um, a pug. I've done a pug. I've done quite a few dogs. If I have my little book, I'll have to bring it up next week. Next week, I'll have to show you my little dogs. Maybe Sunday if I find it. <laughs> yep, I've done Dotsons. Uh, I've done it. I think I did a, um, oh, what's it called? A black lab I've done. I've done a couple cats. A Yorkie. Yes, I've done a Yorkie. All right, so we got to get the hats on here. I'm trying to think of what else I've made. Unusual that I've made. Skunks. The rats. It's a temporary gated community. Oh, you have to be there for one year to you. Oh, that's good. I think that's best. You rent that and then decide where you really want to go. Only problem is then you got to move twice. That's the only thing I don't like about that. <laughs> right, Bunny. That's what I say. You have to leave again. You would love to see the Maltese? I'll have to show it to you. I wonder if I can get my husband to bring it up here. Let me see if I can get him to drug it. <laughs> Let me see if I text him down there. Let me text him. Hold on. Woo. <laughs> Maybe he'll bring it up for me. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to scream down there because I probably can't hammer me anyway because he gets a TV on. Let's see if he brings it. <laughs> All right. Hold on. <laughs> Dang, you just noticed missing pick up a stitch. Oh. Jean stitching, uh, making knitting, and she missed a stitch. I, oh, that's the one thing I don't like about knitting. <laughs> you moved and put all your stuff back. All right, so we have our little hat. So we need that one, and we need another one. You have a Maltese poodle? So do I, Teresa. Right now I have two dogs. I have a Maltese poodle. And I have a Maltese Yorkie. So I have a Morky and a, what's the other one? The Maltese Poodle is a um, Malty Poo. Okay, so we have our little, our little hats on now. Oops. You love your Maltese? I know, I do too. I love my Maltese. She was so sweet. Not that I don't love these two, but these two are, like, my Maltese, she would, like, never jump on you, never, like, do anything. And these two are just, like, especially my Yorkie. She, ugh, she's a, she's a nut. We call her Zany Zoe because she's a nut. 
<laughs> got all the boxes marked and open. Don't open. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Secretary. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here it is. So this is this is Gabby when she was little and our Maltese. And then she had a My Twin doll, which she hates. She says it doesn't look anything like her. And then this was the Maltese that I made. And you see how it has the feathers? So I put the feathers and it's got the long tail because she had a long tail. And then this is her, her long little ears. <laughs> you see it? I know there's a lag. This was the class that I um, took for Anna. Um, it was a contest. We were on a cruise for um, with Anna Griffin. And you had to do a layout. And so this was my layout for the contest. Which didn't win. <laughs> and then you open this up. If you um, take this out. And it like pulls all the way out. Like tri-folds or quarter folds. Whatever it does. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that cute? Oh, my little Maltese. She's cute. <laughs> Yeah, but her name was Yuki, which is Y-U-K-I, which means snow. I think it's snow in Japanese. Yeah, it's cute. And then this was all metal, and then I um, inked with um, paint here, and then you layered. Like, I put a whole bunch of layers on there. I pleated the bottom. I didn't win. No, I didn't even get, like, third or fourth. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> then I stickled all her paper in here. No, I didn't win. <laughs> but that's right. I love to I love this um picture of her. And I think that looks like her. She always says her my twin doll never looks like her. <laughs> it looks like your cami. Yeah, I love my little Maltese. I'll have to get my book. I'll try to look for my book um next week and show you all the different dogs I did. <laughs> but yeah. I'm trying to think if I have it up here that I can see it, but I don't see it offhand that I can see. All right, so let's finish the hats on here. It looks just like it, right? Yeah, I liked using the feathers for the dogs. Dogs who have like long hair, you know. I have to pull this off first. Oh, I don't like that at all. What happened? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Now, there were some other cool ones there, too. I would have liked at least third. I thought I at least got third, but no. But it was fun. To meet Anna, and um, she's really nice. All right. Hi, Miko. <laughs> How are you? All right. So now we just have to put the little ball on the hat. So we have that one. So one will go to um, Sandy, and then the other one will go to, who won the other one? I don't remember now. Oh, one to Aunt Maggie. So one let's go to Sandy, and one will go to Aunt Maggie. All right, so let's finish this little hat. Is it glue? This glue, yes, this glue works. Um, the only thing you can, you can use with this, um, the mulberry paper is, um, a glue stick because if you try to use like, um, liquid glue, it'll seep through and you'll see it. So really the only thing you can use is, um, ah, I tore his eyes off. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to have to fix his eyes. I'm going to have to do this one again. There we go. <laughs> Miko, Miko, guess what? Vicky won. She won the canvas. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, if you use liquid glue, it'll seep through. So, yeah, that won't work. Well, what's nice about it like that, you can see I could just pull it right off, too. <laughs> yes, she did. Actually, I'm going to switch these. This one gets the bigger one. This one will get the little one. So there we go. I have to fix that one eye. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. And then we just need the arms. And then we're done. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> All right. So just the arms. Water pen. So one behind here. One behind here. And then two more. One here. <laughs> Must be your lucky week. <laughs> Did you win something else? Oh, let's see who won last week. Last week, um, June Marie won on Sunday. Sunday, I gave away three little things. June Marie won. Uh, Teresa won. Met wife. And somebody else. And I gave away some sharpeners. Put a patch on the torn one. You want a private one? Okay. I'll put a patch on him and he'll be a pirate one. <laughs> I think I have some black paper up here. We can put a little patch on him. <laughs> All right. I just need the little hands. Oh, good. Then I can send you guys these out tomorrow. Losing his little. You have tickets, tickets for what, Vicky? I'm a tickets fan. This on just a little smaller. All right, I'm going to have to put like a little piece more in here so I can glue it on. There we go. Oh, he needs one more hand. the lottery <laughs> there's Diane <laughs> thank you Diane you're gonna come on right after me right 
I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put the pattern on my blog Monday so whoever wants it can grab it. We need to put a patch on him. Need one more hand. There we go. All right, so let's see where's some black paper. We'll put a little patch over him. I have a big mess. I didn't even really do anything. <laughs> and a mess. 10 o'clock. Okay, so happy day and we'll come on at 10 o'clock. So there we are. So we need a patch for him. I'll see if my... Let me see if my pen is working. Yeah, so we'll put a little white dot in here. Oh, these white pens, they drive me crazy. One doesn't work either. Oh. Have another one. I'll have to put another little white dot on there. So we want a patch now. So I want a little patch to go over his eye here. looks cute. Hubby says your craft room was worth more than the rest of the house and the stuff in it. <laughs> uh oh, what happened, Danny? Oh, that's not true, Danny. I love the picture your po your husband posted of you and you, you and him the other day. It was really cute. All right. <laughs> you sure you want this on here? <laughs> Are your Pete loves pirates? Then you're gonna love next week. We're gonna do a pirate uh, mini album. For my niece, because she has pirates for in her son's room. So, we're going to be making pirates next week. Oops. So I'm going to stick this under the hat there. Stick that under his ear. <laughs> there he is. I'll have to see if I find a sword. I might have a sword. that would. I wonder if I have any... Um, Let's see. I have, to, I have some mirror paper. Maybe we'll put a little sword in his hand. <laughs> oh no. Didn't care where the dishes were. It stuck bus nice and neat in your craft room. That's right. <clears throat> or let's make him a little sword. We'll put him in his hand here. So let's see. Oh, I should have faced this the other way. Or like this. I'm going to leave the plastic on here. So make sure you take it off because this is mirror paper. So make sure you take that off. So let's just fix this. So we'll put that in his hand like that. And then we need... He needs an earring. Yes, we do. We need a little earring. I have one of those little rings, and I'll put that on it. I'll put a little earring on it. Oh, I wish I had the little ring up now. 
And I think I have some gold, little tiny gold coins. And I'll send you that. I'll put some little gold coins here. <laughs> All right. So we need, let's see, um, like a handle. <coughs> so let's see. I love that. Bye, Cindy Lou. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks, you guys, for um, spending your night with me. And it needs like another, like, I don't know what you want to call that. Um, kind of like like that part of the sword. Does that look like a sword? <laughs> he needs a pirate hat now. Oh my gosh. We can make a pirate hat. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull this back just a little bit, this plastic, just so I could stick this on here. And then don't forget to pull it all the way off. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it pulled back like this. You can see the difference with the mirror on there? <laughs> I think I'll have to do that with tape so it'll stay. Um, I wonder if I had some white ink. I don't have any white ink up here. I'm gonna stick that in there like that. And then stick that. I'll stick that in the back of it. It has a little sticky in the back, so you'll just have to put some paper or something on there. Unless you're going to stick it on something. He needs a peg leg. Now you want me to make a whole sock monkey? <laughs> Gosh. So he has that in his hand like that. <laughs> Two peg legs. Oh, no. <laughs> no legs <laughs> all right so we have that in there like that so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in the back there and then add this little piece of glue to hold it on there so we'll have it like this I get it in his hand there Oh, I put it on the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Archie Chick. No problem. So now let's see. You want now? You want a pirate hat? These guys are asking for a lot. <laughs> a parrot? Oh my gosh! You guys are getting like too carried away. <laughs> All right, I need a pirate hat. So that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to, let me see. I think I have to draw this one out. I don't even have anything to look for. I should just do a bandana instead of a pirate hat. This a pirate hat doesn't come out good. We're doing a bandana. <laughs> A treasure map? Oh my gosh. A treasure map too? I don't know. I might be just doing a bandana. I don't have any red paper. Let's let's try that first, the bandana. You guys, I have to look at I don't have anything to look for a pirate hat. <laughs> you need the <a> DD watch. <laughs> oh. Let's 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 try the bandana first. <laughs> I think I'm more comfortable putting a bandana on him. <laughs> How's that? How about a bandana instead of the um, pirate hat? <laughs> Oops. 
put the other one away. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking off his hat now. Well, I'll just take off this little red thing here. No, I have to take off the whole hat. I think I could leave that part on. What I want to do is draw like, I wish I had my white pens at work. Let me see if this works. What can you say there? I just want to outline it in a little white. I'm going to get his eye white there. There we go. Now Margaret's going to want something on her, her, on her sock monkey. <laughs> All right. So we have the bandana. It's just a little bit more down on this side. So that looks good. You went to a little girl's home practice. Oh, you did. That's good, Mickey. <laughs> so now we need the little tails. We need a knot. Um, a knot where it gets tied up. So we'll have that little knot there. And then we need to make two little yo-yo on <laughs> a bottle of rum. <laughs> Now you want me to put them on a treasure chest. That's what you'll want next, right? <laughs> You're being quiet just watching. That's good. <laughs> That's good. You don't want me to make yours into something. <laughs> All right, so now we have this that comes down like that, and we have this little knot there. Just send the gold and the jewels <laughs> from the chest. <laughs> oh, there's your little pirate hat. Your pirate sock monkey. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to find the gold ring. I'm, I'm going to send. I'm going to put a little gold ring in this ear. I wish I could find it now. So just show you guys. I'll have to take a picture of it. And then I'll, I'll post it on Facebook when I find it. I have a tiny little gold ring. That will go perfect for his earring. Uh, all right there we go so we have the sock monkey and we have that so I, I don't think I'm brave enough to do um let me see do you want them on a treasure chest <laughs> I mean, you guys are kind of demanding <laughs> no I'm kidding <laughs> so don't forget to peel that back the mirror <laughs> looks good right there it goes. <laughs> ah, all right, so I'll put that into the mail to you. So, my gosh, we're finishing kind of early. I don't know what else you want me to do. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I could have put a little pirates. I don't have that either, though. No treasure chest, okay. <laughs> Let me see, Aunt Maggie. We have to put him holding something. How if we put a little heart? Let me see if I have my heart uh, punch. Let's put him on something.
work on Maggie's monkey. I am going to do that next. So we'll put him on this little heart or put her on this little heart like this. So we'll put him on the little heart like that. So let me get my white. This is glue. I wish I had my, let me see what this looks like. Let me try this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You can have, uh, oh no, Zanja, make, have a puppy? You want a puppy on yours? A puppy on the heart? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what kind of puppy? Do you have a puppy? Maggie wants a puppy. <laughs> I can do a puppy, but you got to tell me what kind of puppy. I can get this eye on here now. What kind of puppy? Monkey love? <laughs> well, they have to tell me. You can put a puppy on there. So they have to tell me what kind. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Did you see the pirate? Because I know you're watching Survivor. Did you see the pirate one? She wanted a pirate sock monkey. <laughs> no more winners. <laughs> a Maltese. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with options. That's it. You're right, Liz. No more winners. A chihuahua. Woo! That's... I could probably do a chihuahua. Alright. Plus, I have the right kind of paper here, because we have to put a little one on there. So, he's going to be little. So, let's see what we have here. Nothing like getting me right on the spot. <laughs> he's going to be very little. Because we have to put him little on this heart. <laughs> but the Mexican hat, oh my gosh. I'm getting carried away. <laughs> it's just going to be the little face. And the little neck. The little body of him. Like that. Have you been watching? Thanks. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put his little body there. It's kind of, that's just his neck and part of his body. And then I'm going to double up his face here. There's his head. And we're going to do the chihuahua ears. They're kind of pointy, right? Long pointy ears. He has big ears. Okay. But they, they stick up right though, right? Don't the chihuahua's ears stick up? Big ears. <laughs> ah, they are little, yes, but I can't remember what kind of ears. Let's see if I can. You guys really you always like to get it with like, I don't have a picture in front of me or anything. So I'm just going kind of what I think a chihuahua looks like. Oh. Yes, the ears stick up. I don't know. Um, this, um, what do you call it? Um, doing a show on the fly? I don't know. It's kind of dangerous with you guys. <laughs> oh. That ear is too big. I have to make it a little bit smaller. <laughs> a Great Dane. What? A Great Dane or Great Diane? <laughs> yes, stick up ears. Thank you, Jean. 
All right, so we have to make these pointy and sticky up. There's one. Here's our pointy on the tip. I'm trying to make them pointy. I'm trying. This one is a little too fat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks cute already. <laughs> well, we have to put his little snout on here. And they have big eyes, don't they? I think the chihuahuas have kind of big eyes. And I usually have, oh, I wish I had, I have to cut this little pink thing here. Oh, here I have pink. <laughs> All right. So we're going to cut a little. I usually don't cut my mulberry paper with scissors. I want you to see them. I always, when I make a dog, I always put a tongue like they're hanging out with their tongue. <laughs> well, this one might be a little bit too thick, a little bit too big. This big round eyes, okay. With his little tongue hanging out. Look at that. <laughs> now, usually, when I do a dog, I put a lot of layers on, but we're not doing that tonight. <laughs> this is just a quick little chihuahua. <laughs> All right. So now he needs his little eyes. And then he needs his nose. <laughs> and this is just on the fly without a picture. And then what I usually do is where they have their a collar. <laughs> yes, we can put a collar on him. <laughs> He needs bigger eyes than that. Let me see. I wish I had my punch. Let me see if I have my other. Oh, here. Maybe we can use this one. Whoops. Um, let's try this punch. This might be too big his eyes. Oof, too big. I might have to like tuck them in there. I need tweezers. <laughs> I need some tweezers. <laughs> oh, thank you. You are a more streamer than I am. <laughs> they always talk me into doing stuff, Jean. Always. I don't want my tweezers. Then 
then what I usually do is I put like little eyelids on him. So let's see how he looks with these tiny little eyelids. Like that. <laughs> what happened? A patch over. A patch over who? Not the Chihuahua's eye. What happened? I'm getting the group all riled up. Why? I'm not getting them riled up, am I? <laughs> I need like a small little patch. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he looks like a sick little chihuahua. <laughs> now I gotta put some eyes on here. See if I can get him. I should have said, Diane, save me, save me. And you should have come on earlier. <laughs> put a little dot in there. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> All right, so we need just a little underneath here, under his eyes there. All right, and so we're going to put a collar on him. I'm going to put a little tiny collar with a little tiny heart. <laughs> and that, then you guys are done for the night. <laughs> Oh, I'll feel better, Sophie. <laughs> feel better. All right, I'm going to put a little collar. And then it's going to have a tiny little heart. And you have initial. Give me, do you have an initial of your, is this for your dog? Do you have a, a do you have a chihuahua? Got stitch pickup back to knitting. Oh, you got your stitch back picked up. Good, Jean. <laughs> what did she say? She had a name for the dog. I didn't hear her say that. I need a little more glue. <laughs> That's a cute little chihuahua. Does it look like a chihuahua? <laughs> All right, so then we're going to put this one here and his little hands like this. I'll let you put the name up there, but I'm going to put a little tag. <laughs> Bye, Sophie. Thanks for coming. So I'm going to put that there. And his hand here, like that. <laughs> his name is Bubba. Well, you can put Bubba up there. I'm just going to put a little heart. A tiny little heart, and it'll have just the bee on it. How's that? I should draw the bee first. Let's see if I have a, a thin enough pen is my problem. B. B for Bubba. Vicky says she wonders what she can get me to do on our trip. <laughs> Where's Eileen? Because Eileen always says she'll do whatever, whatever you guys want. <laughs> All right. So he's got a little B for Bubba. You're welcome. I'll put a little B for Bubba.
And then you could write his name or whatever you want to write up there. <laughs> so how's that? How you guys had me working tonight? <laughs> the cute little chihuahua. <laughs> they make you smile, Miko. <laughs> and there's our little pirate. So we have our two sock monkeys tonight. For you guys. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Perfect. Good. <laughs> But you see how cute he looks with his little eyebrow. He has his little eyebrows on him. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put the earring in his ear when I find that, and then I'll have to tweet a picture. So, <laughs> you guys have any questions for me? So I'll give you a little potty break, and then Diane will be on in like ten minutes. I know. I don't know where Eileen is. I didn't see her. She hasn't been tweeting much either. I hope she's okay. Yeah, they came out cute. They're really cute, cute, cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. <laughs> you two, I spoiled you two today. <laughs> so next week, I'm going to start the mini for my niece, and it's going to be Pirates. I think it's, I think it's October afternoon. It's called, um, I think it's called Treasure Map. So, um, yeah. Aw, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. Thanks, Laura, for coming to see us. Laura, now should be able to see us a lot more. Thank you, Mitz. <laughs> thank you, Jenny, for uh, modding. Thank you guys for coming. All right, so take a 10-minute break, and then happy Diane will be on. That'll give me time to um, get ready, too, and then I'll, I'll join you guys over there. Have a good weekend. Don't forget to see me on Sunday night if you want to. And then, um, yep, I'm sure I'll see you either at um, Barb's or Dee Dee's. I'm sure around Paula's. Yep. Happy Diane will be on. Yep. Happy Diane. She's on. A link. Can you po post your link, Diane? It's just Happy Diane, but they like to post that. <laughs> you like all the sock monkey business <laughs> for the monk. There she is. Happy Diane. There you go, Sandy. <laughs> or Miki. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, guys. All right, have a good night, and I'll see you over there at Diane's. Bye.